I'm Mo Rocca, and I'm excited to announce season four of my podcast, Mobituaries. I've got a whole new bunch of stories to share with you about the most fascinating people and things who are no longer with us. From famous figures who died on the very same day to the things I wish would die, like buffets, all that and much more. Listen to Mobituaries with Mo Rocca wherever you get your podcasts. Spinner. Welcome to Notebook, a guide to art, culture, and tourism in Tokyo. My name's Stuart Munro, a long term resident of the city, and each weekday around this time I'll bring news and views from Japan. And as the prospect of travel draws ever closer, I'll also note changes in travel as and when they happen. Typhoon number 14, also known as Nanmadol, approaching the southwestern region of Kyushu made landfall yesterday, with Japan's meteorological agency warning of unprecedented winds and waves, calling for the highest level of caution. Nanmadol is one of the strongest typhoons ever to be seen in Japan, and the meteorological agency said it moved slowly from the Pacific towards Kyushu, cancelling trains and flights in the process. Southern Kyushu could receive up to half a metre in rain in the 24 hours leading up to new Monday, while northern Kyushu and Shikoku could also see up to 40 centimetres of rainfall too. After many of the flights connecting Kyushu with the rest of Japan cancelled, all Sanyo Shinkansen bullet trains between Hiroshima and Hakata have been brought to a halt. West Japan Railway says it plans to reduce trains between Osaka and Hiroshima, while Central Japan Railway have said all Tokaido Shinkansen trains between Osaka and Nagoya are to be cancelled for Monday afternoon, dramatically cutting links between each city. With Kyushu in mind, this year marks the 30th anniversary of the mystery and suspense novelist Seicho Matsumoto, born 1909 in the Kyushu town of Kokura, passing away in 1992 aged 82. Matsumoto won the Akutagawa Prize in 1953 with the story Aru Kokura Nikiden, or The Legend of the Kokura Diary. Yet he found prolonged success with a series of detective novels tackling the darker side of contemporary society. Books like Nihon no Kuroikiri, Dark Fog Over Japan, even probed scandals and unresolved crimes from Japan's post war period. But over his 40 year career, Matsumoto also published more than a thousand stories all expressed a strongly anti-authoritarian streak that continues to resonate with readers almost 30 years after his death. But rather than being drawn to the sensational side of misdeeds, Matsumoto was deeply fascinated with their motivation. Motive, he said, that's what interests me. Dramatizations of true crimes like Shosetsu Teigen Jiken, or the Teigen Affair from 1959, was even based on a real-life robbery and mass murder that took place in 1948. A man claiming to be a public health official walked into a branch of Teikoku Ginko, the Imperial Bank, in Tokyo's Shinomachi district and told 16 clerks and customers dysentery had broken out in the area. He then told them to drink what he claimed was a remedy, but the liquid was actually poison. Twelve of the 16 died and the murderer escaped from the bank with cash and cheques. Seven months later, Sadamichi Hirasawa, then a famous painter, was arrested as a suspect. A health ministry official whose business card had been used in the incident told police Hirasawa was among those who had given his card. Hirasawa was tried, found guilty and sentenced to death, a sentence upheld in 1955, mainly on the basis of a written confession he later retracted. But Hirasawa continued to maintain his innocence right up until his death in 1987. Matsumoto spent the latter half of his life in the west side of Tokyo, in Tsuginamiku. And after his death, the Matsumoto Seicho Memorial Museum was established in 1998, next to Kokoda Castle, close to where he grew up, in Kitakyushu. And the author's study room, library and reception room called the Castle of Thought and Creation were also transplanted from Tokyo and installed as permanent exhibits within the museum. That's all for now. I'll be back tomorrow, Tuesday 20th, with more news and views. 
If you enjoyed this episode, you might consider rating us on Apple Podcasts or think about spreading the word online. But for now, thanks for listening. This has been Notebook. Thank you.